Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today we're talking about how to connect your modem to the internet. So we'll be going over everything you need to set your modem up so that you have an active internet connection. So let's just dive right into it here. All right, so let's say you just pulled your modem out of the box. In order to get your modem an internet connection, you need to provide it with access to your internet service provider, and you need to connect it to your internet service provider. So how do you go about doing that? Your modem has no wireless capabilities, so it can't connect to your internet service provider wirelessly. So this means we need to provide it with a wired connection. Okay, so how do we do that? What you'll find is that every modem on the back of it will have a connection for a cable that allows it to connect to its internet service provider. In my case, I have a cable modem, I have a cable internet plan, so there's a connection for a coaxial cable on the back of my modem. So what do I do with that connection? What do I connect? I use a coaxial cable to connect my modem to a wall jack, which is a coaxial cable wall jack. And this will be connected to your internet service provider. So if you connect your modem here with the coaxial cable, on the other side of this connector will be another coaxial cable that connects your modem all the way back to your, to your internet service provider. So essentially what's happening by taking your coaxial cable, connecting it to your modem, and then to the wall jack that provides you with your internet service, you're essentially establishing a really long wired connection between your modem and your ISP. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's connect our coaxial cable to both our modem and then our coaxial cable wall jack. And this is obviously just a, a model here. This would be on the, the wall of your house and it would have wires connecting it out to the street. All right, so now our modem is connected to our coaxial cable wall jack with a coaxial cable. And this provides our modem with a connection to our internet service provider. The next thing we want to do, your modem will come with a power cord. You'll want to connect the power cord to the back of your modem and the other end you want to connect to an outlet to power on your modem and start it up. The next thing you'll want to do is you, you need to register your modem with your internet service provider. And I won't get into the specifics here because there are a multitude of different apps based upon who your ISP is that will walk you through the steps of registering your modem. You'll basically need to log into your account, identify you want to register a new modem, and then you'll need to provide the MAC address of your modem, which you can find on an informational sticker on the bottom of your modem. So it's right here. I have actually blurred it out for security reasons on my modem, but it should be clearly labeled on the informational sticker on the device itself. All right, once your modem is powered on, you've registered it with your internet service provider, the only other things you'll need to make sure you have, you'll need to have an active internet plan with your internet service provider. That's pretty self-explanatory. You need to be paying for an internet plan in order for your modem to be able to access the internet. The other thing that you'll need is you'll need a router and your router will allow your devices in your home to access the internet connection that is established by your modem. Essentially what your router does is it allows multiple devices to use one internet connection. If you didn't have a router, you'd only be able to have one connection to the internet by connecting a device directly to your modem. And this is extremely insecure from a cybersecurity standpoint, so please never do that. You'll want to have a router which you can connect to your modem 
with an Ethernet cable. And this will allow all the devices in your home network to share this one internet connection that your modem has established. So at this point, I know what you're thinking. What if you don't have a cable internet plan? What if you have a different type of internet? Well, honestly, in the majority of cases, the process will be the same. For example, if you have a DSL modem, the process will be the same here. You'll need to connect it to a wall jack. The only difference is you'll be using a phone cable to connect your modem to the wall jack as opposed to a coaxial cable that your cable modem uses. For a fiber optic internet plan, you won't really have to worry about anything because the modems for fiber optic internet plans are usually installed by the internet service provider themselves. So what they do is they actually set up the device outside of your home and they connect a fiber optic cable from the street directly to your modem. So you don't have to do anything there. And say you're one of those people with a satellite internet connection, you'll actually follow the same process as the one we detailed here, where you have a coaxial cable that goes to a coaxial cable wall jack, except the only difference is on the other side of this wall jack will be a connection to a satellite dish outside of your house. That satellite dish will connect wirelessly or with radio signals to the internet, and that's how you establish your internet connection. All right, at this point, you have everything you need to establish an internet connection with your modem. If you have any questions about this process, please leave a comment down below. And I will also link to a blog post that I've written on this topic. And this blog post goes into some more detail about the procedure and the things you need to establish an internet connection with your modem. If you found this information useful, please give this video a like or subscribe to the channel because there'll be plenty more content coming in the future. All right, thanks again for watching.